I know I look awful. My Apple Watch isn't working and I don't know why. It's so annoying. Hi everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I'm actually about to do laundry and I remember that this arrived last night and I think these are the pillowcases that I ordered to make the house a little bit more festive so I wanted to unpack them with you guys before washing them. Oh, it is cute. I went for like this sort of rustic tartan design. I got one that says Merry Christmas. Two of these snowflake ones. They're a little bigger than I thought they were going to be. Then I got one that says Joy to the World. This one that has like a wreath. They're actually really cute. Let me take them out of the packaging. Oh, they are cute. Got two of these wreath ones with a heart. They're also in the tartan design. This can go on top of our bed. And then the next ones I have here are for the couch. They're a little bit more colorful. I wanted something red. Our couches are green, so definitely gonna look really Christmassy. Got this one. They're like in this sort of jute semi-linen fabric. They're really nice, actually. They feel a lot more expensive than they were. I think these were like 60 bucks each. I'll link them in the description. Sorry, my head's not seen, but it's okay. I just woke up, so I am not cute. It's got snowflakes all over it. Very bright, very festive. I got one that says Merry Christmas. I just thought this was really cute. And you guys know how much I love a good pillowcase, so I'm really excited to use these. And when our house is finished, I can bring these with me so that when we spend Christmas in the new house next year, at least we'll have some pillowcases ready. I really I really like this one. This one turned out a lot nicer than I thought. I love the whole darker emerald green vibe. Oh, I'm really happy with these. This is why I didn't want to show my face. Hello. <laughs> okay, I know I look awful, but I had to stop my run because my Apple Watch isn't working and I don't know why. It's so annoying. I ran 3K, but it only logged 1.88. I don't understand what's happening to all of my gadgets. I am like in the worst possible mood right now. I know it sounds so petty, but I'm a stickler for like logging in information. The thing is, I just got this and now it's not turning on. This is not a good start to my morning. As you can see, I am freshly showered. I've actually put on a little bit of makeup today because I just wanted to feel good and fresh and not stressed out because if you guys didn't notice, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown earlier. I mean, what's Vlogmas without a breakdown, am I right? Because I couldn't get my Apple Watch to work. Turns out when you upgrade the iOS, well, this upgraded automatically overnight. It kind of changed some of my settings and that's why it couldn't accurately log in how far I was running. Long story short, I was able Able to fix it and I ended up running a little over 5k which was great and then I did some laundry and then I took a shower and I put on some makeup so before I get on with the rest of my day I thought I would try out some of the new shades of the Issy & Co Hydro Gloss these were kindly sent to me yesterday and I've really been wanting to try the shade Glow it's a frosty pink milkshake really pretty nude lip gloss it kind of reminds me of the Fenty one Ooh! Oh wow, I really like that. It is very comparable to the Fenty one. It's very wet and slippery on my lips. It's not at all sticky, and I really like that color. Issy & Co kills it. Every time they have a new launch, they just kill it. I can't wait to try the other shades as well. This is very intriguing for me, considering I don't really put a lot of color on my face, but the punch shade looks really nice. It's the 8th of December today, and it's actually a holiday. I don't have work till four, and it's only 9.52. I'm actually texting with the aircon cleaners. Oh my gosh, this morning the aircon just died, so I really need to book that in. Then I thought it would be really fun to show you guys what I'm going to be making for lunch. One of Nico's and my favorite meals is just a nice, simple roast. I really, really love this lip gloss. Let's try it off, dude. This one is a golden mauve moment. <gasps> Girl! These are great. Oh my gosh. This is my simple, I want to look cute today makeup look. I'm also wearing one of my favorite dresses from H&M. I got it off of Zalora. If it's still available, I will link it. Change of plans. I might actually be able to have both air cons clean today. That would honestly be great. Yay! The air con cleaners have been approved. Small wins, guys. These are definitely small wins. We're ticking so many things off of my adulting list. Do you like my Christmas pajamas hanging in the background?
The aircon cleaners have come and taken away both aircons. So the one in the living room. And look at the state of the bedroom. I had to move all of this stuff so that they could have space to remove the bedroom aircon, which they were saying is already clogged because of how dirty it is. So thank goodness they're here. As you can see, I am in domestic goddess attire. I've got my apron on because I'm in the middle of cooking. I'm still gonna prep our lunch while waiting for them. They said it's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on just how dirty the aircons are. And I'm I'm sure they're pretty dirty. angle I know but this is the only way I can actually do this properly so I've got all of the veg here I've got the potatoes onions and the garlic and before I season and add the chicken I'm actually gonna season the veg I'm gonna take some Fomas olive oil this is the best for roasting because it's healthier than other oils I'm gonna put in lots of pepper you have to remember these veg are completely unseasoned, so you want them to be nice and flavorful. And then I'm gonna put some of my favorite salt. This is the cilantro lime pepper salt. Generous amount. Potatoes like to absorb salt. I'm also gonna add some basil and a little bit of paprika. Mix it all up. I would use my hands, but since I'm vlogging, I don't want to get oily and herby. The paprika adds such a nice like reddish color. I also cut up the onion in big chunks because I want them to roast really well and then become sweet. Now that all the veggies mixed, I leave a little space in the middle for the chicken. Now onto the chicken. I took each of the pieces and I removed that bloody weird gooey part at the back. My mom told me that I should remove that so there's no bittery weird bloody taste. And then I washed each of the quarters and then I just set them in the middle. For the chicken, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit more of the pomace olive oil. Like I said, this is a really great roasting oil because it's a lot healthier than other oils. And because it's pomace, it doesn't really have any taste. I'm gonna actually flip the chicken first so I can season the backside. Badia Poultry Seasoning Southern Blend. I got this from Landers and it's really yummy. Generously sprinkle the seasoning at the bottom of each piece of chicken. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to flip the chicken Chicken. I'm gonna take the same seasoning, dust a generous amount. Don't worry if it gets to the veg, that's really okay. Just for a little bit more color, I'm also gonna add just a sprinkle of paprika. And that's my one pot roast chicken and veg for lunch. I love making this because it's so easy. I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 230 degrees Celsius. I'll check on it in like 40 minutes. And all I have to do is wait for the chicken. That's why I genuinely love doing roast dinners and lunches because you can just pop everything into one pot and then pop it in the oven. So it's a no must, no fuss thing. I'll leave the recipe in the description box. It's not really anything specific. It's just my recipe and what I enjoy eating and cooking and it's also what Nico likes eating. So yeah, I'll leave it linked in the description. I'm very, very blue. Anyway, while I wait for my chicken to cook, I'm just gonna do the dishes and wait for the aircon cleaning men to come back. Now, I'm gonna lie, it feels a little weird that there are like two gigantic holes <laughs> in the apartment where the aircon should be. It's kind of scary. I'm praying that no bird flies in because can you guys imagine me chasing it? I don't think so. The aircon cleaners just left and I'm so happy. They were such sweet guys and really, really polite. I gave them a couple of snacks for their merienda. They were so appreciative and that just warmed my heart. Both aircons are now on. They told me I need to keep it running for at least 30 minutes to an hour just so that the motor can start running again. And listen, honey, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, aircon at 11.30 in the morning. Yes, please. Chicken smells amazing, by the way. I have to put all of these things back. I love that the aircons are clean. It's another one of those adulting moments where you're kind of just like, wow, this is how I know I'm old. This is 
the little Kokeshi doll that my mom gave me. She didn't design this, but she bought one for me, one for Kara, one for Trina, and then she has one as well. And I just think that they're so cute. More moments later. I know it looks a little burnt, but it's not. It's just the skin and the seasonings. This is how the roast looks, like I said. Really simple, one pot meal. And look who's home! Hi, husband! What do you think of my outfit? I was practiced. Fine. Chicken. Chicken. Mm. <laughs> it's boily. What oil is it? Pomas. It's the olive oil used specifically for roasting. It's good. This is what you want to see in your chicken. No pink. It should be white. White meat. Because you don't want salmonella. Nikki Porter is apple pie for research and development. I don't know how much more developing you need. I don't want to see pie. I'll ask her. Mm. Nico made us coffee. But we're eating our pie before the coffee because we have no EQ. I am overexposed and looking a tad bit naked. Nico just left for his work thing. He actually has to drive to make Hawaiian, I think, because there's a new Phoenix gas station that's opening. And he was asked to make an appearance and be part of like the ceremony. And so he's left for that. I'm home alone and I actually received the most incredible package from my girls over at Paper Dolls. So shout out to you, Janali, and to all of the lovely people at Paper Dolls. This is not an ad and not a spawn. I I get an email from Janali from time to time asking me if I'd like to pick out a couple of bits from the new collection and whenever I check the website I always fall in love with the different pieces and they kindly gift it to me as like a sweet little treat and I'm always gonna be grateful because they're so generous and just super wonderful over there they've actually given me a discount code to share with you guys I'm not getting any money from this discount code it's just a nice little treat and I know how awesome it is to get some money off especially if you're doing your Christmas shopping or if you're looking for a really nice festive outfit for the holidays. 25% off is actually a really big discount. Use the code PDKS25. I'll leave it in the description box. And you get 25% off your paper dolls order online. And you can use the code multiple times until December 31. They always personalize it for me. I feel so bougie and classy and cool whenever they send me clothes and then it's got like my initials or my freaking name on the bag. So classy paper dolls. Paper dolls actually has this really cool kind of collaboration I think with home buddies we picked up this apron it's very old school there's no tie so you just slip it on and it's got this gorgeous blue and white pinstripes all over it they're also pockets if you are looking for the perfect Christmas gift for somebody who loves cooking baking or loves doing things around the house I feel like this would be such a lovely gift the set actually comes with a lovely little scrunchie too paper dolls have beautiful dresses I remember last year for my anniversary with Nico or was it Valentine but I wore this all-white lace dress that people went crazy for on Instagram and that was from Paper Dolls. I decided to pick myself up another white dress. This one is gorgeous. This would be perfect for like a civil wedding or if you want to wear white on Christmas or if you're just looking for the perfect white dress. This is for you. It's got gorgeous puffy sleeves, a nice v-neck, it's got a tie waist and then it's flowy at the bottom. I love the feel of the cloth. So soft and it feels so airy as well and flowy obsessed these dresses I'm so excited for remember when I said that you could totally use the voucher code if you're looking for the perfect like Christmas festive dress or outfit does this not scream Christmas classiest sweetest shift dress it's very like 60s retro style but what got me was the collar these gorgeous rhinestones all over even at the back so you could like tie your hair in a loose bun and then just wear this who's ready for a Christmas party now, if you're not a big fan of like the whole red or green or like sparkle type dresses for the holidays, I feel like this would be for you. You know what they say, a little black dress is a staple in every woman's wardrobe. High neck and then it's kind of like a racer style. You guys know I love that kind of cut. And then it flows down into a cute little mini skater skirt. But the detail, I don't know if you guys can see. It's got like these applique cutouts of flowers and leaves and it's just so beautiful. And then the back is a gorgeous gold zipper makes the dress easy to get into and get out of you know when you're like semi food combing after Christmas and you just want to remove your dress it's very fun and it's also really festive if you're not into like color or if you want to do like a red lip and those are the lovely
lovely pieces that Paper Dolls kindly sent me. Thank you once again to Janali and to everybody over at Paper Dolls for always being so generous and so thoughtful. I'm just super grateful that you guys think about me and that you send me such amazing things and that you're giving us an incredible discount. Go to their website and you can use the code PDKS25 for 25% off. You can use it multiple times until December 31. It's perfect for the Christmas season and if you want to buy gifts for people, that's a really great discount. I just bumped my thigh on the corner of the solid wood dining table and I am in so much pain, which I think is a sign for me to end the vlog here. I know it's a little early, but I'm not going to be doing anything except go to work, do my show, come home, have dinner with Nico, and then just call it a night. So I thought, you know what? I had a pretty productive and busy day today. There was even a haul in this video, so I thought I would end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below which of the items from my paper dolls haul did you like best and if you'll use the voucher code because 25% off is a big discount guys you best believe that your girl is gonna use it I think I want to get several of those apron sets thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 10 bye